Deuteronomy, the command to leave Horeb. These are the words Moses spoke to all Israel in the desert, east of the Jordan, that is in the Arabah, opposite Soph, between Paran and Tophel, Laban, Hezroth, and Dishahab. Please forgive me all of these uh, words, especially in the Old Testament, um, can be difficult. You know, I'm not one to know exactly the pronunciation, so if you do know the pronunciations of these words, please do, you know, say them, speak them, type them e even in the comments if you if you know how to correctly pronounce these words. <laughs> but let's continue. It takes 11 days to go from Horeb to Kadesh Barnea by the Mount Seir Road. In the 40th year, on the first day of the 11th month, Moses proclaimed to, uh, to the Israelites all that the Lord had commanded him concerning them. This was after he had defeated Sihon, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, and at Adria had defeated Og, king of Bashan, who reign, uh, reigned in Ashtaroth. East of the Jordan, in the territory of Moab, Moses began to expound this law, saying, The Lord our God said to us at Horeb, You have stayed long enough at this mountain. Break camp and advance into the hill country of the Amorites. Go to all the neighboring peoples in the Arabah, in the mountains, in the western foothills, in the Negev, and along the coast, to the land of the Canaanites, and to Lebanon, as far as the great river, <coughs> the Euphrates. See, I have given you this land. Go in and take possession of the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, to Abram, Isaac and Jacob and their descendants after them. So we just completed numbers and um, we know that Joshua will be leading the tribe of Israel, the, the people of Israel. And so I believe in order, Deuteronomy is basically in reference to now Moses is handing off the torch or ha handing off the leadership role to Joshua. He is also uh, providing him uh, background information as to what happened. So we're going to go through some repeats again, which is fine because obviously we need those repeats because that's how we learn. That's how we learn. And I mean, you can look at any type of programming educational wise and they teach you something and then they do a review and sometimes they'll teach it to you again <laughs> and so so there's a lot of things that um we are uh, in the bible it's repeated for a reason you know this is god's holy word god is wisdom and he knows how to deliver wisdom to us of course we need as humans we need this repeated to us multiple times so um so, and we also have um, what we do know is that the younger generation has now uh, coming along and the older generation has started to die off, if not completely die off. And so the younger generation is starting to do what the Lord had requested Israel to do when they had left Egypt and went into the desert to get direction, to worship the Lord and get guidance. And so... What kind of thoughts or feelings come to mind when we read over this first part, uh, the command to leave Horeb? Um, what, how would you feel if you were in that time and you were now um, taking your role in the community and the community was now going to the promised land? They were doing what they need to do to enter the promised land. How would that make you feel? And what would that make you think? 